The other one we like to talk about is how utilising the, again, the cloud environment, you're able to connect a whole variety of stakeholders who are involved in the, in the geospatial space, but also in, in, into whether it's a streetlight maintenance company, it's for potholes on the street, it's for other issues that they're seeing in, the, in their local community, it comes into a central database. On the other side, on the construction side, you can have intelligent machines that are feeding data back as they're completing the work with exactly what's been done from an earthworks perspective, feeding back into the central office that the site manager can see exactly what's happened, who's done what, where and when, are they on schedule, are they behind schedule, do we need to slow down the supply of raw materials, whether it's concrete because we're behind schedule, etc. So you start to build this management infrastructure around, around the site in the construction case or in, in terms of the local community. All the same, exactly the same, can be applied on the farm, where you can have this connected farm concept where information is coming from the machines that are out in the fields coming into a central hub, a significant way of connecting the various stakeholders who, who are utilizing that geospatial information. So the next couple of videos were, were taken in, um, this is actually Denmark, so what they're doing here, this is a way of the local community being able to track, but you can, as a citizen, you can log on to see when your sidewalk or pavement is, is being cleared. And again, this information is going backwards and forwards between the citizen and, and the city to, to make it happen. Very simple device. There's no great expertise written into this. It's a simple script that applies onto the, onto the smart device. And the second one here is actually a fascinating one that they developed. So this other city in Denmark wanted to see the traffic patterns for their teenage kids going to school. Now, how it's pretty difficult to get any teenager to engage in any sort of school, but also the type of transportation they're using, whether they're using buses, trams, bikes, or cars. And again, they could start to track this to understand exactly how we're getting to and from school. And to me, it's just this fantastic example of how you can engage with a local community and probably get a group of individuals who you'd never have been able to engage in this sort of process before, engage in helping you to solve a problem by utilizing the, the latest capabilities um, that, that exist.